Hello everyone, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Kittle. Over there is John Lewandowski. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Today we have a double for you. Um, it is the Admirals and the Iowa Wild and the... Atlanta Gladiators versus the Greensville Swamp Rabbits. So, up first, we have the Admirals versus the Wild. Let's get this craziness out of the way. <laughs> All right. Shots on goal in the first period. Iowa outshoots Milwaukee 20 to 13. In the second period, Iowa outshoots Milwaukee 12 to 9. In the third period, Iowa outshoots Milwaukee 8 to 7. And in total, Iowa outshoots Milwaukee 40 to 29. On the power play, Iowa goes two for six with 28 minutes, six infractions. While Milwaukee goes one for three with 34 minutes, nine infractions. Scoring in the first at 346 mark for the Admirals is Joachim Kemmel. Scoring his seventh of the year on the power play, assisted by Jordan Gross and Mark Jenkins. Kowski. That's Gross's fifth, Jankowski's 16th. And then at the 744 mark, the Admirals got on the board again from Joachim Kemmel, scoring his eighth of the season and second of the night, assisted by Dennis Garyanov, his 14th, and Jake Livingstone, his sixth. Then at the 1334 mark, the Admirals score again with goal from Roland McEwen, his fifth of the year. That was on the shorthand, assisted by Zach LaRue, his ninth. Then at the 1747 mark, the Admirals score again with a goal from Adam Willsby, his third of the year, assisted by Jasper Weatherby, his seventh, and Dennis Gurionov, his 15th. Then in, in the. In the. Okay. Yeah. You, you can go ahead. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> okay. The uh, second period is Anthony Angelo unassisted with his second, Angelo? Um, then Mark Jankowski scores his sixth with an assist from Livingstone, his seventh, and LaRue, his eighth. That was at the 8.25 mark. And LaRue's 10. Yeah. All righty. Then uh, Nick Patan scores his fifth on the power play with an assist from uh, Sammy Walker and Stephen Fogarty. Uh, that was the Wilds' first goal. Um, at that moment, uh, Jankowski got a... Literally, at that moment, got a unsportsmanlike conduct, abuse of an official, 10-minute misconduct, and a game misconduct, abuse of an official. Uh, then scoring at the 106 mark was Nick Patan on the power play, thanks to that call, which was a bad goal, by the way. That first goal by Patan should not have counted. Um, it was goaltender interference. Um, uh, you don't believe me? Go watch the Admirals post game uh, recap with the coach. They'll tell you the ref admitted it. So, uh, Patan scores his sixth, second of the game with an assist from well Andy Walensky, old man Andy Walensky, and Sammy Walker. Uh, then Nick Patan gets the hat trick, his seventh with an assist from Sammy Walker and Jake Lucin. Then the King of Mequon gets on the board, his second of the season, with an assist from Gary Adolf, his 16th, and Cal O'Reilly, his eighth. Uh, then uh, Ashley Tisdale, I mean, Joel Tisdale, um, scores his third with an assist from Nick Patan, his 16th. Um... In that for the uh, Iowa Wild, the start of this game was Jasper Wallstead. He stopped 16 of 22. Um, as Zane McIntyre came in in relief at the, with 28 minutes, 57 seconds worth of work, allowing six shots or six saves on seven shots, allowing one goal. Troy Grosnick stopped 36 of 40 with a four goals against. Still not a bad night. He's averaging a goal every 10 shots. Uh, so three stars in the game were Zachary LaRue with two assists, Nick Patan with a hat trick and one assist, and the first star was Joachim Kemmel. 
size away, your game winning goal goes to Anthony Angelo. Um, so the Admirals are in action on Saturday as well as all three teams are, but we are not. We are taking that time off. I believe I have some holiday prep stuff to do, and John has some holiday stuff to do. Mm -hmm. So on to Atlanta. So these are our last times covering uh, the Admirals in Atlanta until after the break, which is December 27th. All right, so the Atlantic Gladiators took on the Greenville Swamp Rabbits today. Shots on goal in the first period. Atlanta outshoots Greenville 17 to 13. In the second, Atlanta outshoots Greenville 11 to 10. In the third, Greenville outshoots Atlanta 13 to 8. And in total, both teams end up with 36 shots. Atlanta goes 0 for 1 on the power play with 9 minutes 3 infractions, while Greenville goes 0 for 2 with 7 minutes 2 infractions. Scoring in the first period for the Swamp Rabbits at 26 seconds into the game was Tanner Eberly, assisted by Bobby Russell and Ben Freeman. Then at the 18.55 mark for Atlanta, Jackson Pearson gets on the board, assisted by Griffin Luch and Jacob Graves. Then in the second period, uh, Jake Smith scores with an assist from Nick Kursik and Ethan Samoza. Um, that was at the 341 mark. Um, then scoring at the 934 mark was noted goal scorer Davrin Butter with an assist from Carson Gisevich. Or Gisevich, sorry, Gisevich. I'm not going to be that guy. It's pronounced Savage. Then Micah Miller scores at the 10.30 mark, right? Unassisted. Then in the third, Ethan Samoza scores with an assist from Jake Smith and Max Coyle. Um, then at the 16.20 or 16.42 mark, Mitch Walitsky scores with an assist from Evan Doherty. And then Cody Sylvester ed, 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 probably ed, puts the puck into the A. E, is that an E-N? Yeah, it was. Empty net. Okay. His fifth of the season. Uh, by the way, uh, Everly's fourth, Pearson sixth, Smith sixth, Mutter second, Miller's eighth, Samoza seventh. And Wolanski second, um, and then Sylvester's fifth. Those are the number of goals they have this season. In net for Atlanta was Gustav Davis Gregel. He stopped 33 of 36. In net for um, the Swamp Rabbits is Ryan Bednar. Uh, he stopped 31 of 35, the empty net. Stopped nothing. <laughs> All righty. So your three stars of the game. Third star of the game, Gustav Davis Kregel. Second star of the game was Jackson Pearson. First star of the game was... I don't remember how to say your name. Jake Smith. First out of the game was Jake Smith. Attendance in Greensville. I believe they were in Greensville. Yes, they were. Yeah, they were. Uh, was 3,000 even at the Bond Secures Wellness Arena. Um, this snaps Atlanta skid, finally. Um, the Admirals are back in the wing column again. Yep. Um, and we get another two points over Iowa. Um, one thing I will say, um, before we go into this, uh, I do believe we are dropping graphics on Saturday for those games. I believe so. So, reference here for, um, Atlanta and Pretty much all three teams. 
don't get caught in a trap game. Um, meaning that you know we know the holiday is coming. Don't get caught, you know, sleeping. Yeah, if you will. You know, um, if you're go in there, take control of the game, move. You know, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep. You know, that kind of thing. So, just one of those situations where I, I, I truthfully believe if if the opportunity is there, crush them. Uh, the Wolves are on the climb. Uh, they have won three straight. Well, actually, they lost their last game in a shootout. So, but there's three o o and one in their last four. Um, the Admirals in their last five are four one. So, I'm not too worried about it. Um, from the looks of it, around the division, I think only us and Rockford played in it. Oh no, Texas played Grand Rapids, where they beat them six to two. Where is this? Oh, there it is. Uh, Rockford loses to San Diego two to one. So that's your divisional for today. Um, for all you Admirals and Atlanta fans, I would like to wish you a Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa and Happy Hanukkah. Enjoy your holidays, everyone. Be safe. And just remember, last one to spike the eggnog is a loser. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs>